Hi, I'm Sean Turner. I'm the finance editor at hotelnewsnow.com. Sitting here at the Hunter Hotel Investment Conference in Atlanta with Naveen Kakarla, President and CEO of Hersha Hospitality Management. Naveen, thanks very much for taking the time today. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. I think I'd like to start, if, if you wouldn't mind, just giving an overview of, of Hersha and what projects you're working on right now. Thanks. Um, you know, Hersha Hospitality Management, we operate, on the operational side, we operate 80 hotels. Um, they range from our newest, which is in the luxury space, to a lot of urban select service hotels. We operate a dozen independent hotels, some of those in major urban markets. We have a lot of concentration in some of the top gateways in that we have uh, 15 hotels in New York City. We have um, a meaningful concentration in DC, in Boston. And so what had initially started with the Northeast focus has actually evolved to our now um, having a presence in um, South Florida and Tampa. And uh, we're really excited because we just expanded to the West Coast and now have a place in uh, Los Angeles, a place meaning a, um, a regional team and a focus um, for hotels now in Los Angeles and Pleasant Hill and Pleasanton in uh, Northern California and also Scottsdale. So we have an investment focus where we invest with a handful of private equity firms and we are looking at a lot of the um, repositioning type assets that people are talking about here in the conference. Yeah. And uh, you know, there, there are a lot of hotels that don't fit a classic REIT model but that do need to be recapitalized or do need a meaningful um, renovation or repositioning. And we have a lot of experience in everything from ground up construction to, um, you know, we just recently opened up a hotel that had been closed for 10 years and uh, found a new flag for it and um, got it off the ground again. And so those are kind of good old fashioned hotel projects. If what hotel was that? That's the uh, Sheraton in Delaware. Okay. It's a hotel where the original developer had, um, you know, it's a good example of the kind of deals that are in the marketplace but not often talked about um, on stage and in session at conferences because there are good deals in every market. And in this case, in Wilmington, Delaware, there was a hotel off I-95 that had been closed and had been going through litigation because the original developer built two extra floors that weren't allowed by the city. Okay. And once that was all worked out, it needed a hotel company that had the background to come in and literally reinitiate the HVAC, figure out what brand it should be, kind of um, work through programming. And what was once a select serve hotel, we were able to uh, put a lot of capital and love into the hotel and turn it into a full service Sheraton that just opened about uh, three months ago. Okay. Is there, are, are, are you doing a lot of ground up construction these days? Or what, what area of your business would you say is keeping you the busiest right now? You know, I'm, I'm probably spending a lot more time on the pursuit side of our business these days. And I'm doing that strategically because there are a lot of deals like the example I gave that just require time and hustle to, to, to discover and you have to kiss a lot of frogs to find you know, a few good uh, prince or princesses and, and I think that's the nature of the market today. So I've been spending a lot more time on the uh, acquisition side with the belief that over a five to seven year hold period we're at a good place in the cycle. Um, We've been spending a lot of time, obviously, on the operational side, but frankly, across the last three or four years, I feel like we've made a lot of the tough decisions and set the strategy in place that allows us scale and leverage to our existing operating model. We have always built ground up. We're building a hotel. We're building two hotels in Manhattan right now that are ground up. We're building a tower at uh, Miami Beach that's ground up. But they're certainly more the exception than the rule because they're among the five or six markets where um, that really does make a lot of sense.